Well, hello there, and welcome to the Domain of Austin, Texas. Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Benjamin O, and today I am here in the northwest part of Austin, Texas to continue our Austin, Texas food tour series here at the Domain. This is one of the largest outdoor shopping center uh, districts and is one of the newest ones. It started about 2007 and has been continuously growing. There's still a lot of growth to actually go through if you walk around. There's still a lot of empty stores that they're still trying to sell uh, the real estate to. But yeah, it is a very chic, up and coming spot. So let's go and check out some of the food places that you can try out while you do your shopping. All right, so the very first spot that we're gonna be doing here on the food tour here in the Domain is actually on the south side. It's called the Lawn Area. And they usually have about, they've got a few different restaurants around here, but they do have about three or four uh, food trucks as well. And this is kind of when you're here at the Domain, which is very, very, not fully upscale, but a lot of the restaurants are gonna average you anywhere from probably about 20 to $50 a plate, depending on what level you go. This is if you want more of a cheaper meal, you come down to this side at the lawn and you come here to what is called Beirut. This is a Lebanese food truck here in the domain. So I got myself a lamb kebab. Lamb kebab pita wrap looking so, so good. Let's go ahead and give that a try real quick. Oh. Let's take a look at that. That's fantastic. The lamb's cooked very well. The citrusy of the tomatoes, a little acidity there. And then of course, that yogurt sauce just ties it all together with some parsley. And I think there's a little mint in there as well. Mm. That is so, so good. So the domain is divided into two parts, and that's the south end and then the north end. The south end is kind of where we start, where we're starting off now, which is basically uh, cornered from Dillard's to basically Dick's Sporting Goods. After that, once you get past Macy's, you get to like Century Oaks Terrace. That's where the main part of the domain is, it's kind of the, the, the newer part of the domain where all the big restaurants and whatnot are all there. So we're gonna go check that out in a second, because really the, the lawn and this side is a little bit more, much smaller, there's not as much to do, uh, particularly food-wise. All the big food stuff is north side. So that's where we're gonna head to next. warm day like today or as the summer goes on a place when you're here at the domain just as you come into the north side there's this place called the yard milkshakes and ice cream bar highly recommend stopping in here uh, if you want to go for the big bucks which is about 20 22 dollars they do have like these pints of just like these massive milkshakes which are just huge uh, i am trying to do a little bit more uh smaller version just because i've got so much food to go through but i do highly recommend trying that however my little uh, sea salted uh, caramel uh, ice cream looks absolutely fan freaking tastic. So, cry out. Oh, damn, that's good. Oh my god, I gotta get a second bite of that. That is mm, absolutely fantastic. Cute little store inside. But yeah, definitely check out the yard for some ice cream when you're kind of traveling around doing your shopping. Even if that's the only thing you do, because on a hot day like this, it helps. So 
spot number three is this place right next door to the yard milkshake place and that is plank seafood and provisions and i'm here to get some oysters it's actually really hard to find oysters in this area and this is one of the few kind of like seafood restaurants in this particular part of the domain and this area of north uh, northern austin there is a few other good places to get uh, uh oysters but here in the domain this is the place to come to so i'm gonna try myself a nice little tiny one here i think uh, this is a old hall so bottoms up I might have put too much horseradish. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did horseradish and some of the mignonette. And I think I put too much horseradish on that one. Oh, that went right up the nose. Holy crap. Now one thing you do want to keep in mind when it comes to the north side of the domain, there's actually two separate streets that you want to visit. The first one, which we just came up with, that had Plank, that had, of course, the Yard, and then it's got like the Gucci, Louis Vuitton, some of the high-end stores. That is Century Terrace. Then what you do is you go down a couple blocks down this way towards Rock Rose Avenue. Now Rock Rose Avenue, as you'll see when we get there, is more of the restaurants, pubs, bars sort of place, whereas in where we were in the south and here on the north side of Century Terrace, those had restaurants and places to eat. However, it wasn't the big hub. We're gonna go to Rock Rose Avenue now, which is the big hub for all the food and drinks. Okay, so for the fourth spot on this food tour, I recommend this place behind me called the Culinary Dropout. It's a fantastic, awesome place. Unfortunately, the music was a little loud, so it wasn't able to kind of do the in-person there, but it is an amazing spot. It came up about eight years ago, and as the name goes, the chef was a culinary dropout, decided to do his own kind of thing, and they are killing it, particularly those soft pretzel bites with a provolone fondue cheese dip. Oh my freaking god that was absolutely fantastic go you know add that to a nice uh tab 18 lager it is a fantastic spot it's on the north end here of rock rose avenue so definitely definitely check it out it's got a great outdoor seating area and in even the inside looks really really cool so culinary dropout check that place out here when you're here at the domain So for the fifth and final spot, I am here at a place called Mia's Italian Tapas. And you know, tapas is more of a Spanish style, but I really, really love the kind of like the, the idea of small plates in any cuisine whatsoever. So first and foremost, they've got this delicious multiple Chiano. Cheers to you guys. And it has been a delight drinking this. Yeah, that is a good red wine. And for my little meal, the little tapas I'm gonna show you, is called an agnolotti, which is basically kind of like a little ravioli. And it's stuffed with like a brown butter, it's got brown butter based sauce with candy pecans, uh, butternut squash kind of is your main component in there with some parmigiano. Um, it's just a little bit of sage in there. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try real quick. Oh yeah. It's like, hmm, there's a little citrus in there too. Like there's an acidity on the back end. But that butternut squash, the sweetness of the candy pecans, that is absolutely fantastic. Whew, 
another successful food tour. My belly agrees with me. Good Lord, <laughs> I'm stuffed. But man, that was fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed the five places I went. Honestly, that's just a taste of what you can find here at the Domain. There's so many restaurants, particularly on Rock Rose Avenue, restaurants, bars all over this area. It is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best shopping malls I think I've ever you know, experienced because it's, it's not really, I don't even really consider it some, a mall. It's really just a shopping outdoor center and it's absolutely amazing so but i hope you guys enjoyed the little food tour that i was able to give you definitely if you get the chance you're in austin come up to the northwest side come here check out the domain it is definitely definitely worth it so but anyway guys i hope you liked the video if you did give it that big old thumbs up and of course if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to that channel uh definitely helps me out and of course if you want to help out further i do have a buy me a coffee account at buymeacoffee.com travel done so anyway guys until the next adventure peace out and have a great night